Hello investigators and welcome to the overview video for Heart of the Elders, which is the 21st expansion product for the Arkham Horror Living Card Game. Look out Magic the Gathering as we are catching up fast. Clinging desperately to the same cast iron formula FFG has made this as identical to every other Mythos pack as they possibly can, which doesn't help if you want to create engaging and entertaining content. No we aren't going to dunk anything, we don't believe in gimmicks here at Arkham Chronicle. Oh that's right, no cheap laughs here. So, as you're all so used to the drill right now, welcome to the audience participation version of the Heart of the Elders Mythos Pack Overview. Read along now! All right, all right, that's enough. We can already hear people pressing the dislike button. The setup instructions come on one sheet, and if you hadn't noticed from the clue on the back, this is a multi-part scenario labelled A and B. You have to play part A first, but unlike a normal scenario where you move on regardless after playing, something special happens depending on your success level. Here at the Arkham Vertical, we have a zero tolerance policy for spoilers, so we can't discuss it. But we do think this is pretty neat, and definitely gets our thumbs up for good game design. On the back of the sheet is Scenario B, and it is unfortunate that it has to share space with the Do Not Reads. But you don't need to know anything about Scenario B, so just follow the instructions on the front and start playing. And have you noticed the sheets are numbered sequentially, ready for FFG to release them in a collected PDF. On to the player cards, and just as the scenario was able to shake up the format, so do these. There are two copies of 13 new cards, including no less than two neutral cards, one of which is a weapon, a double-handed weapon no less, and the other uses the body slot. Goodness! There are three survivor cards, all of which focus on skill tests, but only one of which is an actual skill. And it's got no icons on it. Another class getting three cards are the Mystics, and none of those is a spell. This makes the second pack in a row. Come to think of it, they only got one in the Forgotten Age box. Think of poor Akachi. But they do get a new ally, which for Mystics are like hen's teeth. Does this make four? They also have a skill card, and it is an upgraded Defiance. The Guardians also get a skill card, and the Seekers upgrade their Exposed Weakness. But what happened to the Rogues? A single lone card! Is this the first time we've seen this? Answers on a postcard. And your last player card is the neutral card number 204, before it goes to the multiple copies of scenario card number 215. So it turns out, despite the limited format, you can shake things up a bit. And we didn't need to dunk anything. Back to the Goblins then. Do you want a slideshow? I will leave you a slideshow. Alright, we'll see you next month.